for calling Life Spot. This is Brista. How may I help? Uh, yeah, uh, hold, hold on right quick. Hold on, hold on. Here we go. Can you hear me? I can. All right, all right. You sound like a Georgian. You you from Georgia? I am from Georgia. It, it, the, the accent is strong with you. <laughs> <laughs> well... Well, it is. It definitely is that. All right, all right. Um... I'm over here. Where where am I? Where where am I? I'm over here in Tennessee somewhere. I, I'm not sure where you are. Well, I'm I'm over here in Tennessee <laughs> somewhere, and I'm I'm just looking at your your you you guys trucks and drivers, uh, just just going up and down, breezing through here, and I'm over here like I, I said to myself, maybe I should look them up and see what they is about because not only here. But you, you, you guys have like different accounts, like all over, right? Right now, I'm over here. Where, we do. But I, I can't even. I don't even know this spot where I'm at. I, all I know this is like a, a a food spot. I'm getting loaded real slow, <laughs> and I and I gotta Are go. Are you? Oh, uh, go ahead. Are go you at General Mills? Is that where you are? I, you know what? I, I don't know if this is General Mills. Let me look at my, let me look at my, uh. Where are I, you I, in Murfreesboro? I, I'll tell you in. A, you know what, Murfreesboro, Tennessee, Joe B, Joe mm -hmm. B Jackson Parkway. Mm-hmm. Yeah, where, where am I? Uh. You're at General Mills. Oh, uh, but it says Rich Prada. General Mills Yo Plate. Yeah, it's General Mills. Oh, no wonder they load me so slow over here, man. This is painful. But anyway, <laughs> but anyway, I'm over here looking, and I'm 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 seeing all of you know all of the, you know all of the uh, yard jockeys just you know breezing, and I said to myself that this wasn't the only place that I seen you guys, uh, equipment. I I noticed that your guys is mm -hmm. is at different places, so. My question, I, I went to the website, of course. Um, my question is this. Um, if a person is interested in coming in, you know, driving for laser spot, do you got, are, are you a recruiter or do you, or do, is, is there a recruiter I can talk to about the, the job opportunities that you have? I am a recruiter. Awesome. Awesome. I am so, a recruiter. So you mind if I take maybe about five, ten minutes of your time today to find out what you guys got to offer? Uh, not at all. Hey, I, I, I appreciate it. My name's Shine. I'm, a, uh, I'm going on a six-year, uh, going on to be a six-year uh, driver out here. Uh, my question is this. Let me start off in the beginning. Um, I have talked to some of the drivers out here. Well, not at this particular place, but I have talked to some of the drivers and they, you know, wanted me to refer them to some of my companies that I used to that I used to drive for. But the only problem mm -hmm. was at the time when I tried to refer this uh, one young lady is that even though she drove uh, for the company for like five years, my company at the time wouldn't bring her in because she didn't have uh, the experience. And I'm going like, well, wait, she got five years. And you figured the guys that drives these these pup trucks got a little bit more experience backing than us over the road guys because they got to do a lot of tight Not backing, interested. they got to do a lot of tight backing, they got to do a lot of blindside backing. So why not give them the opportunity? And they said, well, they don't have no over the road experience. And I'm like. Wow. That's standard. Yeah, that's standard across the board, typically. Wow. So, what about for you guys, though? Um, what about for you guys? I mean, are, are you guys uh, standard that way, too? Do I have to have over-the-road experience to come drive for you guys? No. 
Okay, that's you what. You do not. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. All right, so, so let me let me ask you this, Sean. Where do you live? Let's let's start there. All right, I'm out of Ohio, and just to let you know, I'm okay. just you know I'm I'm just you know just talking because I do have a platform. Uh, yeah, I get it. You know, I do have a platform, and the information that you give me, I'm going to pass it on to them because, you know, some of the guys Perfect. might not want to, you know, drive OTR or drive a truck. They just want something local. So, yeah, so I'm, I'm out of oh, Ohio. Oh, I get it. Okay. So we have a good bit of sites in Ohio, mm-hmm. um, just depending on what part of Ohio you live in. We we do have a good bit of sites in, in the state of Ohio. All right. Well, I'm out of Cleveland, but I am I am okay. a, I, I am accessible to uh, to maybe a 50 mile or a hundred mile radius from where I live at because I'm assuming we can't take the trucks on, right? No, you can't. And our max is going to be a the max is going to be about forty miles that we would hire someone from mm-hmm. um, to close to one of our sites, just because these are typically twelve hour shifts. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, you start getting into an hour, hour and a half drive one way, that puts a lot of miles on your eyelids every oh, okay. day. Okay. Okay. Um, so, so yeah, typically it's it's about a forty mile at the most, give or take a little bit. Okay. Um, let me get those that pay pulled up for you. I don't typically work the Ohio Valley, but let me pull it up and see what that pay rate is. So while you doing that, uh, oh. while while you pulling that up, um, again, we're uh, are we subjected to hours of service doing uh doing you know doing this or no um no if you work less than 14 hours a day no okay if you work 14 in two seconds yes hmm all right if that's the case how's you guys getting away with 12 hours oh you said, wait 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 you said the shift is 12 hours but the drive mm-hmm. time the drive time is still subjected through uh through HOS No No oh, No No okay. The only thing that the only thing for us like I said the only the only time you would have to quote unquote keep a logbook for us is if you worked a 14 hour and 1 second shift or longer Okay 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 you don't count your time to work and from work on for us on a logbook, right? Okay. Or e logs or anything like that. Okay. Uh, are there are there e logs in the trucks or no? No. All right. Now no, I notice you don't have to keep them. Now I noticed these pup trucks out here. That's that's what I call the yard dogs trucks. I I call them. But I, I don't know mm-hmm. why, but but I also see regular. <laughs> Everybody has their own name. <laughs> I also see regular um I also see regular day cabs. So day cabs. Mm-hmm. So Yeah, there are some sites that have day cabs. So would the day cabs be the ones that 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 would be suggested up up under the e-logs? No. None of our drivers none of our drivers do e-logs. Oh, okay. The only time that you would have to keep a logbook is if you worked a 14-hour and one-second shift or longer. Okay. Which now, is not going to happen hardly ever. Gotcha. All right, so what's y'all... What, what's, yeah, what, so no. What, what, what do we need or what do the average driver need to come in to uh, to to get on with... Uh, what, what is it? Laser spot. Uh, do they have to have the same amount of, you know, scrutiny as we go through getting into... Uh, regular trucking? I mean, as far as requirements, our hiring requirements are a little less involved, I will say, in certain ways than someone that's going to hire you to drive OTR. We still have a pretty strict safety policy due to this is a lot of backing and there Mm -hmm. are a lot of people walking around that yard Mm -hmm. and a lot of things that could go wrong. Um, So, no, I mean, we, we do have hiring requirements um we do drug screen you we do look at previous drug and alcohol stuff from your clearinghouse Mm -hmm. um so things of that nature we run the exact same reports with the exception of a DAC report that every other trucking company runs 
Okay, okay. What about now? What about it's? Uh, what about years of experience? So, say like a driver that just graduated out uh, out of out of truck driving school. Can they can they come right into you guys? I'm sure that we would have sites. There are some sites that require drivers to have experience. Those are site specific, based on the size and the load and volume of that particular site. But there are plenty of sites that would hire someone straight out of truck driving school. Oh, okay, okay, cool, awesome. Now, as far as as far as a new driver, or let me, let me just broaden that. As far as a new driver and a veteran driver alike that's coming in to do this type of job, do do we get training on that specific site or no? You would get training site specific. You would not be trained on how to back a trailer into a dock door. <laughs> um, that is the hot part of the training. I get that question a lot, especially with new high or new um, graduates. And I'm like, no, they're not going to train you on how to back a trailer into a dock door. It is, it is um, as pretty... far as the job functions and the job duties of your specific role, on that team, yes, you will be trained on that, but oh, not okay. how to back a trailer. <laughs> they, they say, Bump, that you should already know that coming in here. <laughs> no, you should. Oh, man. Now, some of these places, I, you know, some now, some of these places, uh, I, I, I'm afraid of. I, I'm, I really am. I mean, I've been in the game for six years, and there's been a whole bunch of places that I have been, and I, I, I see the way, I see the way these guys, you know, especially the experienced guys. I mean, they, they could just, they could just, boom, 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 bam. Me, it takes like forever, and the guys just, you know, they kind of like, you know, kind of like pile up. And this is during my rookie years. They kind of like pile up, and they like. So, uh, how long you think this guy going to take to get that in that hole? Uh, I'll say about five minutes. Uh, I'll say about an hour. I had one dude tell the other guy that it, it was going to take me about two hours to get in the hole. And I'm over here like, look, man, <laughs> what, can, can y'all get this in here? Because I know y'all can do it. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, so, so orientation where where will we have to come uh is, is it site specific that we have to go to orientation or is there a main place that we come in for orientation we don't do orientation we do interviews in person on site at the location okay 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 so uh, with that said i have to i guess i have to make my own way down there as far as as far as the interview process yes, go would. okay okay yes you would um now during the interview process do the 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 drug screening um first is uh -huh. it is it urine or hair follicle it's urine and is it done before or during the the interview process it is your interview is first then you will road test once you pass the road test they will then send you for the drug screen oh so there Oh, there Third is a, on, the, on the list. Oh, there is a road test. Now, let me ask you this: Is it a road test there on is the a road test. Is it on the actual road, or is it a road test in the no. in, in the in the yard? In the yard. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. In what, the yard. Now, what are you guys looking for? Because I know the road test for us, you know, us semi drivers, is different. So, what are you guys is actually looking for? Uh, road test in the yard. Backing skills, primarily backing safety skills. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. All right. Um, and you was now, of course, I'm from Ohio, but we we, we can expand it mm -hmm. to you know other places. But what what would be the mm -hmm. what would, now is the is the pay is the pay based hourly? Uh, is it salary? It is. Is it? It's an hourly pay. Is it based on experience of a person that already has, or is it no. just, or is it straight pay coming in? It's it's what the starting pay rate is for the site in particular. All right. So without going in, because I know there's so many sites that you guys have, just just mm -hmm. give me like an average of of what a person. It ranges from nineteen 
19 to 20 dollars an hour to start okay including overtime or is there no overtime? um the sites in ohio do no the sites in ohio do pay overtime oh okay okay awesome 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 um now the sites that we go to do we have to like go like as far as fueling and stuff like that and actually go off site to drive is there is there some places that we will have to end up doing that there are uh, most sites again that's site specific um, a lot of sites have wet lines on site some of them are off site fueling it's just, it's site specific all right and being that this is all totally different, we 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 basically uh, we, we basically have like a site manager here that our our job here is you just did. pretty our our job here is just pretty much uh, move one trailer from one place, put a trailer in a dock, move a trailer from another place, put that trailer in a dock, come and mm -hmm. take that trailer out. That's our day to day functions, right? That is your day to day. Yes. All right. All right. Um, what about what, what about drivers with uh, with felonies? Do you do you guys give them a chance? We do, and those are based on a case by case basis. There's right. no. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, we do. Oh, okay. Um, so, ma'am, what you know? I'm you know a driver calls you. Um, you go, you know, they go through the interview process and all that other good stuff. Uh, I'm sure you guys got to look at it, like you said before in the beginning, look at his background, look at the clearinghouse, look at all that good stuff. But what can get him disqualified from you guys? There's plenty, there's a plenty of things. The list is quite long. So, you know, if you've got a DUI in the past seven years, that would not qualify. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, outside of that, and a reckless driving ticket in the past seven, those are the two biggies that would automatically be a no. All right. All right. That's what's up. Now I, w I would turn around and ask you, like, yo, is this force dispatch? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, right now. What 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 other things that uh, Laser Spots uh, has has to offer? I, I know I didn't mention the the benefit package, so I'm I'm and I'm going to assume that you guys have one, so. What what is the benefit package? We do. I, um, we offer medical vision, dental, four hundred one k. Medical dental vision goes into effect after sixty days. Four hundred one k. You're fully vested at ninety. Okay. Company matches dollar for dollar up to the first four percent. Okay. We pay all major holidays Ooh. as well as you earn vacation. Okay. Okay. Um. Now, being that you guys pay all major holidays, are we? are we off on some holidays i know some i know some accounts are not closed on holidays so i'm, I'm sure some of the guys it would kinda... just depend right it would depend on the site in which you're working at if they operate on the holiday or not or if you're scheduled to work on that holiday or not all right all right all right well hey thank you very much for the conversation you're very welcome. Man. i mean like i said i just you're very welcome i, I, I just see your I, I just see your guys over here just cruising along and i'm still in the door waiting but um but you know to get some uh information out of out uh for the for the guys that might be interested in coming in now let me ask you this is this cdl a or cdl b uh for, for the majority drivers. of our positions are their class A's. We do have some non CDL positions, but we most of them require a class A CDL. Okay, okay, okay. That's what's up. And some of the trucks, and I'm I'm going to say majority of the trucks are manuals or automatics. They're automatics. Oh, okay, okay. I could have sworn I saw a stick in one of these trucks before. Maybe it wasn't there, yours. There may have been. Well, there may be a couple of those hanging around, but the majority of our equipment is automatic. All right. Um, what do you want? What, what do you want to leave? Uh, what do you want to leave with me as far as uh, as far as what else you guys could offer, or did or, or do you think we touched on everything? I mean, we've gone over pretty much all the highlights. I mean, the biggest thing is drivers are home every day, so you're not spending a ton of time out on the road, mm -hmm. um, and you can make a good salary here. All right. We pay holidays. Most trucking companies do not do that. 
Yeah, I, yeah, I can attest to that. <laughs> I can, I uh-huh. can very much attest to that. All right. Well, look, thank you very much. I really do appreciate the uh, appreciate the time, and you know, I'll probably got to call somebody else to pass the time because they still loading me. <sighs> oh gosh. And, well, do this for me. Write my number down, and if if you decide you want to come this route, you call me. I, I I will. Can I can I pass your number along to other people as well? Absolutely. All right, hold Please on. Please do. Hold on, right quick. Let me uh, let me go ahead and get it. What what is it? It's six seven eight. Hold on, six seven eight. Okay. Six seven eight. Seven seven one. Seven seven yep. one. Seven seven one. Seven seven one. Uh huh. Two nine two two. Two nine two two. All right, I definitely got uh. What, and what, my what? name is Marissa. Ma- let me see. M A R A I S A I S A. Marissa, thank you, thank you very much for your you time. You are very welcome. And You're I would, welcome. I, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I, you know what, my yeah, don't even let me see, see you, see you about to open up, <laughs> you, you about to open up another, uh, uh, open up another thing, and I'm trying to let you go. <laughs> Yeah, I know, and I got to go. I got three calls all at one time. So, hey. yes, but call me if you, if you want to come this way. I appreciate you. You take it easy. Call Have me. a blessed one. All right.